Hi everyone, welcome to 2021 RPATCOM ACER meeting. Today's topic is about event mesh, a event driven distributed application multi runtime. On the beginning, I will make a brief introduction of event mesh and me. Even mesh is produced from Wayback and accepted by Apache Incubator at February 2021. Nowadays, there are many contributors from different famous companies. My name is Ethan Chen, the founder of Apache Even Mesh, specialist of Weibang Midwell Group. Not only Even Mesh, I also became a committer of Apache Rock MQ and a TSC member of Open Messaging during the past two years. I will introduce Event Mesh from four aspects. The first one is what is Event Mesh. The second one is why we need Event Mesh. The third one is the ecosystem and the structure of Event Mesh. And the last one is the outlook of Event Mesh. In recent years, with the development of self mesh, Docker, microservice, and serverless, even the driving runtime has become the most popular technical topic. The structure of infant driving for applications has a lot of advantages, such as Decoupling, easy to scale up or down, and embedded different types of systems. For even the driving systems, the most important aspect is how to take or communicate or deal with events. Even the mesh is a dynamic native eventing infrastructure which provides fast and secure event handling ability. It can also work as an administration for events and applications to achieve different types of communication demand of company. As I told in previous slides, even mesh can decouple applications and handle complex events. As chronic events or stream processing between applications, pub sub module meets real time demands to satisfy complex business logic conditions. It also supports lightweight multi language access via call events or gRPC, etc. Reduce the complexity of interaction, improve the compatibility and the con connectivity under the different business environments. With above features, Even Mesh can integrate multiple cloud applications, include Docker, microservice, Service Mesh, IoT, Function API, etc. 
explain the processing between multiple sites and administrative domains. If the mesh can integrate multiple event sources and event goals to support serverless computation, data stream handling, IoT equipment, source, service, and data analysis demands. We also apply standard protocols like cloud events, gRPC, lightweight client to achieve tasks for customers. Now let's focus on the main structure of Infinite Mesh. Runtime is the bone structure of Infinite Mesh, which uses SPI to load necessary plugins. The top part of this slide shows interfaces are used through cloud events or gRPC to export standard service basis interfaces for applications. Protocol can be used as plugins in even match as well. The left right part of this slide are different storage applications. They will export source and sync connector interfaces to match the specific condition of data computing task. The developer has to achieve his own logic to satisfy the source and sync connector logic. By the way, runtime also supports general fault tolerate and the flow control ability for application to use. Here are the main features of Event Mesh, which are first connector or adapter, second binding, third state abstraction, fourth orchestration, fifth distributed primitives, sixth scaling. Even the mesh uses SBI as basic specification to define some scalable in interfaces. Developers are free to use third-party plugins to develop their own applications. Now we have RockMQ as the event store platform, Kafka, Redis, Posa and other platforms will come into Event Mesh very soon. We also provide for different dimension, dimension interfaces like Open Schema, Open Telemetry, and Registry. For Transform Protocol, we support HTTP and TCP for now. Later, we will provide cloud events and gRPC as well. Even to trigger the whole process, InMesh enabled binding the event with topics and the event schema. Support multiple event filter pattern, such as Base phase value match, prefix match, surfix match, exclude match, numerical match, etc. This pattern includes all information about the event state in 
the message services enable stable, trustable, stateful services. Subscribers can rebuild the state of the source system using whatever storage best suits the subscriber's performance needs. Circle or no circle, object store, fire based store, etc. This slide shows that even mesh acts as a orchestrator among different services. Orchestrators also store state to know which steps of the workflow has have occurred. Because of this, if there is a failure in the workflow, it can perform compensating actions to recover from a failure. Even Mesh supports not only cloud native deployment, but also cluster deployment. You're able to decide Docker or virtual machine you want to deploy your application. For distributed event delivery, Even Mesh provides two consume modes. In cluster mode, one event can be only delivered to one instance in each group. But in broadcast mode, each instance of each group can receive every event. This slide is about the scaling of event mesh. Benefit from cloud native elasticity, even mesh has the ability of horizontal autoscaler. As the previous slide show, even mesh has many advantages. Our community is growing fast and give us many advices. We realize that there are still a lot of limitations of even mesh. Our team is confident to improve these limitations and add new features. We are very confident to build it into an excellent even driven multi round time. This slide is the near term planning of even mesh. And welcome to join us. Okay, that's all my presentation of Even Mesh. Thank you for your time with Even Mesh. Feel free to ask questions for me. There are different contact information of me and my team. We are looking forward for your questions and PR in GitHub. Goodbye.